Welcome once again, students, to our Google Classroom tutorials. My name is Mr. Chinyasa from the ITS department. I'm going to take you through how you are going to work with Google Classroom. Right after logging into your Google Classroom, you will be taken to this home page where you are going to see a list of your modules, the modules that you are undertaking for the semester. So for you to view what is in the modules or what is required from, the, from your lecturers, you are going to click on any of the module that you want to see. So I'm going to click on one of these modules, right? When you click on the module, you'll be taken to this screen. There are three tabs, stream, classwork, and people, right? On the stream tab, you are going to see the timeline of what has been happening in your module or in your class. You will see all the posts that have been posted by your lecturer, the assignments, the materials, and any communication, any chats that have been happening in your class. So on this stream, it's like a timeline where you see, according to their time, what has been happening, right? When you go to this classwork tab, the classwork tab gives you a more organized view of what has been posted by your lecture. On this classwork, you will see that every work has been grouped into units. The lecturer has grouped this into topics, week one topic and week two topic. And under this, you will see that there are assignments and materials that have been posted by the lecturer. So for you to see the material that has been posted, you will just click on any of the material. Like here under week two, there is this chapter introduction. If I click on chapter introduction, I can see what has been posted under chapter introduction. If I click on assignment, I will see what has been posted under assignment two. The same with week one assignment, I can see and introduction, I can see what has been posted. So this is a more organized view of your class or of what the lecturer has posted. Now, I want to show you how you are going to submit assignments to your lecturers. You have seen assignment that has been posted by the lecturer. If you click on view assignment, if you click on view assignment, you will see that this assignment is assignment two from your lecturer and it's out of 100, which is written 100 points. Here is the assignment. If you want to download the assignment or to view, you just click on this button, right? Here is your work. Uh, if you want to submit the assignment, you will come to this part where it's written your work and you click on add or create. If you click on add or create, you submit your assignment, you have to upload your assignment either from your Google Drive or from a link if it is a website or you can upload a file or it's a document that you want to create using Google Documents. It's a slide, it's a workbook which is an Excel sheet or it's any drawing. So here we want to upload an assignment which I have typed on my Word document and it's a uh, saved on my computer so i will click on file when i click on file it takes me to this page where i'm going to upload my file so i will select file from your device select file from your device right i will select file from the folder where my assignment is this is my assignment i am going to upload click on upload this is how i upload my assignment so after clicking on upload my assignment is being uploaded here right you will see that my assignment is being uploaded after the assignment has been uploaded i am going to turn it in which is submitting to the lecturer so i will click on turn in right turn in your work here is your assignment then i will click on turn in right after clicking on turn in uh, the assignment has been submitted so the status of this assignment is it's turned in and also you can unsubmit if you want to resubmit your work you want to take down whatever you have uploaded and submit another new version of your assignment you will click on unsubmit so this is how you submit an assignment for marking right so after submitting your assignment for marking uh you will see that after the lecturer has marked your assignment, you want to view 
uh, what the lecturer has given you or your mark or your grade. You will go back to your assignment like here, yeah, I have this assignment for week one, which has been marked and submitted back to me by the lecturer. So I will click on assignment one. I will click on view assignment. If I click on view assignment, I will see that the assignment has been submitted back to me by my lecturer and I have been given a mark which I can see here, which is 88 out of 100. That's my mark. And on this status, it's written graded. Graded to mean that the lecturer has graded this assignment, the lecturer has given me a mark. If I want to communicate with the lecturer concerning this assignment, I can send him a private message here. This message goes to the lecturer and no one else see this message. If I want to communicate with the lecturer concerning the assignment, I can go here if I want the message to be seen by my classmates or the rest of the class or anyone who has been assigned this assignment. So that's how you submit assignment on Google Classroom. Right, after submitting assignment, uh, you can also attend online video lectures. When your lecturer has given you a timetable that on, on such a particular time I'm going to be online and I'm going to deliver a video lecture, you are going to go here on Meet under Class Work tab. You go on Meet. When you click on Meet at the start of that video lecture, uh, you are taken to this page where you are going to join the class. You are going to join the video classroom which is being delivered by your lecturer. So you are going to click on Join Now. When you click on Join Now, you are taken to this page where you are going to attend the lecture, where the lecturer is teaching you using video online. So when you, are, you have attended this lecture, at the end of the lecture, when your lecturer has finished teaching you, you can stop uh, this lecture or you can leave the lecture by clicking on this middle tab here, uh, this middle button, which is written leave call. So if I click on leave call, I am now out of the lecture. So this is your Google Classroom for now. That's what we can uh, say for now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We meet once again in our next video when we explore more on Google Classroom. For any information, feel free to contact the ITS department. Details are there in our handbook that we are going to email you to your emails or we'll be getting those uh, from our lecturers. Thank you so much. Have a good day.